But anywho, um, all right. Next question from Radical School is DG. DG, what were some of your dad's biggest influences that allowed him to approach things the way he did as a man slash father? Just ask him because you have so much respect for him. Damn, that's a good ass question, bro. I, bro, to be honest. It's really only two of them that I could tell you, and that would be his daddy and mm. uh, his granddaddy, which I was able to meet my great-granddad. We had a relationship, but my pop's dad passed mm. like two months before I was born. <clears throat> so, yeah, bro, I would have to say uh, one of his biggest influences was his pops, because like he said, my granddad was a real drunk. Like He stayed on the bottle so much that my grandma actually shot my granddaddy back in the day while they were still married in a relationship. Like He used to get drunk and wild out that, that mm. bad. But one thing he did say is, like, uh, my granddaddy always practiced inclusion. Like, he always took his children everywhere. He would fight to keep his sons. Because my daddy got uh, four or five brothers and one sister. Two sisters. So it was, it was predominantly boys. Well, with this grandfather, it was all boys. But anyway, um, he just always told me, like, how my granddaddy would fight to keep them. And he would be trying to go. Because remember, my pop's from New York. My granddaddy was down here in Tampa. So he was just saying, like, making that commute and just being consistent, even though, like, even when it wasn't in contact, he was still so, like, overly consistent and influential in their lives that they still felt like they had, you know, damn near living daddy, even though he was, like, a thousand, two thousand miles away in Florida. Uh, but I would definitely say the consistency, the time that he got from them, because he got hella stories, uh, shit, the bonding, because I remember him telling me, like, his first time driving out of town was when he was 13. He had to, My granddaddy got drunk. He had to drive him from Tampa to Alabama. So, well, you follow Alabama, but, yeah, I, I would definitely say as far as the conversations we've had, those have been his two biggest influences. And my old, my uncle, my oldest uncle, that's who really gave him the game, who really, like, showed him verbally and, uh, I mean, showed him visually and taught him verbally, like, how to be a man, how to be consistent with your children, how to, how to like, fight and take anything head on that get in the way of the relationship with you and your children, so... To me, those would be his two biggest influences that I've heard him uh, that I've heard him mention. And then I really do feel like the fact that they're from New York, uh, it definitely did give us a different dynamic. So because he was from New York, that required us to travel. So I was exposed to a lot of things that people in my bracket never was exposed to, probably, maybe still not exposed to, because I had a daddy that had to commute from one one side of the nation to the other. To say he was at home. So, I would definitely say uh, his city absolutely played a part in that. Because, shit, down to the music I like. Like, I don't listen to a lot of Southern artists. My shit is more so up north. Yeah, really, like, the bulk of my list is going to be up north, except for Nip. Or somewhere along the border of the East Coast. But I'm not, like, you never going to hop in my car and hear Trick Daddy. Trick has some shit. I ain't saying that, Trick. You're not gonna hear a trick in my car. <laughs> you're not gonna. You're never. You're absolutely never gonna hear me play Uncle Luke. Oh no, nah, so, I'm not playing Luke either. Yeah, my my northern roots are still relevant, based off what he did. So I would have to believe that his northern roots definitely affected him directly if he was the one living up there and I was just visiting. For sure, for sure, for sure. You know everything about sports. You know everything about life. What, what weed is popping? What's designer? What's this and that? But you don't know shit about yourself. So a lot of you guys are just well-dressed vessels.